Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome to the first episode of the Argentina World Cup career mode series. You guys have been wanting this Argentina career mode since pretty much the release of the World Cup game mode and finally I'm really excited to bring you guys the first episode of this series with Argentina and hopefully we can go all the way. Now we don't really have the best of squads but we do have some extremely talented players and we do have Leo Messi so that certainly helps. And I'm excited to see how well we can perform in the World Cup with Argentina. So if you guys are excited for this tournament with Argentina, drop a like on this video. Let's see if you guys can smash out 500 likes. That'd be awesome. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 18 World Cup and regular career mode content. Argentina have won the World Cup twice in their history, once in 1978 and once in 1986. So it's been a long time since they've actually won a tournament, an official tournament. So we're going to try and end that drought and get Argentina the silverware they deserve. And it's going to be a really tough challenge and I'm hoping we can get the job done. Let's take a look at the squad we're going to be dealing with. So I want to keep the squad as realistic as possible. So I've decided to use the actual 23 players the coach or Jorge Sampaoli has picked for this Argentina football team so a lot of big players do miss out on a spot in the first 23 so really Romero Romero's actually injured otherwise he would be involved Zabaleta, Funes Mori, Cranvita, Pizarro, Perez all these players miss out even the likes of Alejandro Gomez who's so high rated and even Icardi it's honestly shocking that he hasn't been picked for the Argentina national team but hey the competition is that insane up front for Argentina regardless anyways the first 11 I think this is how I'm gonna line up a 4-2-3-1 with Messi as the focal point he's gonna be taking the free kicks the penalties pretty much every decision because he's the captain the leader of this team Aguero up front will support him to Maria, Dybala, Banega, Biglia, Otamendi, Rojo, Taglia, Fico as on left back he's got a lot of pace so I decided to go for him instead of Rojo and I'll play Rojo as my left back um, and Saldi this one is interesting we don't really have a right back in the team apart from Mercado so I thought you know what let's put in Ansaldi he's quick and he's got five star weak foot which means he can play on the right hand side so I think this is how the first 11 is going to look in the World Cup unless you know a few of these players do start performing like on the bench like Lanzini is good Higuain is good Mascherano is good or some of these youngsters like Meza I will be open to making changes but I think my first team is going to look like this for a while so that's that. Alright guys, this is our group for the World Cup. Argentina, Iceland, Croatia and Nigeria. I reckon we should be able to get the job done against these three teams. But we cannot underestimate the likes of Croatia because they've got some good players. Nigeria beat Argentina recently and Iceland, you guys know how well they did perform in the Euros. So no room for us to underestimate anyone. Time to get started off with our first game in the group stages and honestly I'm excited. If you guys are, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But let's get into this game against Iceland. Argentina versus Iceland, our first group stage game being played at the Spartak Stadium. I'm excited, man. I'm eager to face Gilfi Sigurds and let's hope he has an off day and let's hope Leo Messi can get the job done. One of my aims in this series is to try and get Leo Messi to win the golden boot and even maybe the golden ball. And also the World Cup trophy, so let's hope we can all achieve that, but let's get started, man. First game of the group stages, we've got to start with a win. Alright guys, this is my lineup for the first World Cup game. I've decided to start Armani because he's been phenomenal for River Plate, if I'm not wrong. So, I think he deserves a shot ahead of the likes of Willy Caballero and all, so decided to do that. Besides that, it's pretty much the same team that I decided to go with initially, so not too many changes. I might use the likes of Lanzini as super subs because they're pretty good players. Um, Lanzini, I think, did really well for Argentina in one of the friendly games, so you never know. But this is, of course, the Iceland team, and I do not expect them to have a good squad, but they do have a few talented players, like, of course, Sigurdsson, Gilfi Sigurdsson from Everton. He's a solid player, and we know he performs well for Iceland, so I'm eager for this game. Let's see how it goes. We need to win our first World Cup game. Aguero finds Lionel Messi and there goes Messi on the attack, still Leo Messi. Messi goes for the finesse shot and almost scores his first goal in the 2018 World Cup. Leo Messi, the captain of this team, comes so close, man. Ah, oh, that's agonizingly close. Oh no, we let this guy through now. Big chance for our opponents. Bjornasson, I don't want to even try and pronounce these guys' names. Gilfi Sigurdsson, no way, man. Gilfi has now put Iceland into the lead. We cannot afford to lose this game. First game is used to build confidence and a loss will definitely not help in that. We've got to get back into this one. 
Back to Aguero and now Lionel Messi. We know he's quick. Here goes Messi on the attack for Argentina. Argentina need to get right back into this one. This is it. This is Messi's chance. Messi finesses it. And no way. I thought that was in. Leo Messi has had a couple of good chances in this game. To be fair, all half chances. But when Messi's in that kind of position, you expect him to score. And again, that's agonizingly close. That's frustrating. We've got ourselves a corner. I'm going to play this one to Banega. Inside to Leo Messi. This is a good set piece. Now Sergio Aguero gets the shot off. It takes a deflection of Gunnarsson. Again, I don't want to be pronouncing these Icelandic names, but regardless, Sergio Aguero equalizes. Leo Messi picks up an assist. Let's see if this goal is going to go down to Sergio Aguero. I think maybe not. Yes, it does go to Aguero, which means Messi gets the assist. But most importantly, the score is now 1-0. Aguero finds Leo Messi and there goes Messi on the attack. Still Messi. Messi's beaten a couple of plays. There's still Messi. Fake shot from Messi. Messi finesses it and Leo Messi. Tom Bins from Messi. What a strike. And this is what we need from our captain, the leader, La Pulga. The atomic flea as he's called. And again, what a strike from Leo Messi. And this is what we needed from Messi in this World Cup. And he delivers for us in the first group stage game. This one against Iceland. But look at that for a strike. I mean... Top bins from Messi. I mean, he just stopped it so well with the fake shot. And then the finish was just perfect. Classic Leo Messi. Corner. Ball played in. Tagliafico with the header and it's gone in. It's taken a deflection off Sigurdsson. But Tagliafico, who I think is like 5'8 or 5'9, has scored a header. Iceland have no idea how to defend with all these superstars in our team. How to defend against all these superstars. Dybala gets himself an assist. He didn't really have the best of games regardless, at least in this half. But... He gets an assist, Tagliafico scores, and 3-1, we're looking good. Here's Lionel Messi, goes on the attack once again, Messi in a good position. Plays this one to Paolo Dybala, it finds its way to Sergio Aguero, who wallies this one. But the opposition keeper makes the save, and then Sigurdsson gets it away. The first half has been very entertaining, and here are Leo Messi's stats from this first half. Um, I think three shots, one goal, pretty good, I mean, that's, that's a top striker. Half time and I'm really happy with the way things are going. 3-1 so far, not bad at all. I mean, it was kind of annoying that we conceded the first goal early on, but we responded well, which I think we needed to do. Messi was superb in this first half. Let's hope Messi can deliver in the second half as well. I don't want to be dropping points against Iceland no matter what. And I'm actually going to bring on Javier Mascherano instead of Banega, just to get some more experience in that midfield. And I definitely want to bring on Higuain at some point to see how he performs. Obviously, I know you guys aren't the biggest fan of him and the same with me. I don't really like Higuain, but he has been picked for this year's World Cup for Argentina. So we've got to show him the respect he deserves and, of course, give him a chance to prove himself. Tagliafico. And there's the pace from Angel Di Maria. And there's the trickery from Angel Di Maria. Di Maria now in a good spot. He's done him there. Di Maria brilliantly... On the rebound, misses. It finds its way to Paolo Dybala and what a chaotic goal to score. But it's Paolo who scored. He's been anonymous throughout most of this game. But he's now got himself an assist and a goal. And there he does his mask celebration. 4-1 now against Iceland. But look at the skills there from Angel Di Maria. And yeah, he was really unlucky to not get that goal to himself. But yeah, so happy to have made it 4-1. I think it's game over now. It is time to make a substitution. I'm bringing on Gonzalo Higuain, El Pipita for Aguero. And I'll, and I'll also bring on Lanzini for Paolo Dybala. So making a couple more changes. Let's see how they work out for us. Now here's Gonzalo Higuain with the hold-up play that I think we expect from him. Messi finds Di Maria. Now Gonzalo Higuain. Higuain with the finesse shot. No freaking way as Higuain just scored. Three minutes since he's been subbed on. Gonzalo Higuain gets his World Cup goal in Russia. And it was a tremendous finesse shot. Let's give him credit. If he can do such type of things. The way he performs for UA. If he can replicate that at the Russia 2018 World Cup. Argentina have a legitimate chance of winning the tournament. Because they've got Messi already. And if they've got another striker who can fire on all cylinders. They've got a real chance. At least in this series, Higuain is performing. What a strike from him. This does not look good. Big chance for our opponents. Armani with a tremendous save. I'm not still sold on Armani yet. But if he keeps performing like this, you know, making these kind of saves, I guess he will be the starter keeper for the rest of this World Cup. Now Lanzini. Oh, Messi gets there. He gets lucky. Gets the shot off. And Leo Messi with another banging goal to make it 6-1. Messi gets himself a brace against Iceland. 
and we've absolutely destroyed them. The early scare that we got when they scored has completely vanished as we've scored six past them. This is the kind of start we needed in the World Cup and this is the kind of start we get. Again, what a strike from Leo Messi. There you have it guys, first World Cup game. The first game of the group stages ends in a 6-1 emphatic win for our Switch. I am really happy about it. Good to see the likes of Messi, Di Maria, even Higuain, even Aguero and even Dybala all perform. So really happy with the result. Let's hope we can keep pushing on and, you know, deliver such kind of performances. Interesting to see that it wasn't Messi who won man of the match for that game against, of course, Iceland and it's Tanglia Fico. And tell you what, he was actually brilliant in that game. A few assists as well. Good performance all round and his pace was definitely helpful. Anyways, um, this is how the group stage table is looking for us right now. One game played, one win, a goal difference of five and three points. But even Croatia managed to win their first game against Nigeria with a big margin of three goals. So this game right now against Croatia could be massive. And we know they've got a good squad. We'll obviously take a look at their team. But on, honestly, talking about my team, I'm pretty happy with the way we played. I mean, the likes of Biglia were brilliant in that CDM role. Rojo and Otamendi were solid, our fullbacks were brilliant, Armani was decent, of course our attack was absolutely brilliant. Everything seems to be gelling now. Against a tough opponent like Croatia, we'll find out what this team is made of. This is it, Argentina versus Croatia. Some people consider Croatia as dark horses because of the likes of players they have. They've got some tremendous individual players like Luka Modric, Ivan Rakitic, Mandzukic and Ivan Perisic as well. I mean, they've got a solid, solid team, so obviously it's going to be tough against them. At the Nizhny Novograd Stadium, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, we're going to be playing them. Let's hope we can secure the three points. I haven't made a single change to my team, but this is the Croatia team and they've got some good players, man. Modric, Rakitic, Perisic, Kovacic, Mandzukic. On the bench, they've got the likes of Brozovic, Kramaric, Jedvaj, and they've got a solid team. And I know this is going to be a difficult game. Here's Dybala. Finds Leo Messi. Messi sees the run of Angel Di Maria. Big chance for the Argentine and Angel Di Maria misses a huge opportunity. The number 11 couldn't convert that. Biglia finds Aguero, now Lionel Messi and again a fantastic position, Messi shoots and he smashes the post there, so unlucky from Leo Messi but what power behind that shot. Aguero plays this one through to Leo Messi, Messi now one on one with the opposing keeper and Messi doesn't miss one on one chances, Leo Messi converts as we now lead versus Croatia, one goal to nil, Aguero with the assist, Aguero Messi have formed a brilliant combination right now on the field and they're getting the job done for me, Messi now should be the top scorer of the World Cup with three goals. Croatia now look to be the team dominating with the likes of Modric, Rakitic and all causing me problems. Here's Perisic, no it's not Perisic, it's Badelj who takes the shot and he hits the crossbar from that position. I don't know what kind of keeping that was from Armani but regardless we got lucky there. But here's Leo Messi on the counter attack. Brilliantly played through to Sergio Aguero, took a deflection as well. Sergio Aguero now gets the shot off and no way. That wasn't the best of efforts from Kun Aguero as it goes wide. Rakitic lays this one to Kovacic, Kovacic finds Mandzukic, big challenge from Otamendi, he had to be strong in that position and he was exactly that. We might actually get a chance on the counter as it's some brilliant link up play between Aguero and Leo Messi and here goes Leo Messi once again on the attack for Argentina and Leo Messi, what? Messi never misses those kind of chances and that is something that never happens. Nine times out of ten, Messi would bury that one into the back of the net, but oh well. This Croatia team's midfield is so good that I've been struggling to keep possession at all in this game because when your opponent have the likes of Modric and Rakitic, it's immensely difficult. Another chance for Croatia there, as you can see, Mandzukic with a side-footed shot. It hits the side netting. Out wide to Paolo Dybala. Dybala now in behind to Sergio Aguero. Aguero gets the shot off and how is Subasic? Managed to get a hand to that because that shot was going right into the back of the net. Half time in this one, it's been a tough game. Croatia have dominated the midfield. They've had a few good chances as well. They've hit the post and all. But I think best chances have come to us and we've wasted quite a few. Hopefully that won't be the case in the second half. Oh, here we go. Paolo Dybala now utilizing that pace. Still Dybala. He slowed down a bit, finds Messi. Messi shoots and Messi scores. An absolutely sensational goal. Paolo Dybala gets the assist for this one. But it was all Leo Messi, the power he generated in that strike and the precision, the positioning, everything was just perfect from Leo Messi who scores his fourth goal in this World Cup. 
the baller did so well to you know just hold up the play just take it slow and dribble pretty well and then he just laid it off to Messi and this was just something else for Messi the keeper couldn't even get close Finds Lionel Messi again, Messi's chance now potentially for a hat-trick and Messi gets his hat-trick in the World Cup group stages against Croatia. That is now his fifth goal in this World Cup, that's actually insane. There's no way he's not winning the Man of the Match award now in this game. But again, Aguero and Messi, their, their link-up play is just something else and Messi again with a brilliant finish away from Subasic, bottom right corner. I guess Croatia can't handle Lionel Messi. If Messi's in this kind of form in the World Cup, it's all over for pretty much any team in the world. Bedelj finds Modric back to Bedelj. This is not looking good. Armani gets his hand to it but couldn't get it away. And Croatia back in this one. Oh, Paolo Dybala does him there. Finds Lionel Messi. Messi gets the shots off. What even is Leo Messi? He scores with his left foot, he scores with his right foot from pretty much any angle as he makes it 4-1. That is now four goals for Messi against Croatia. Who would have thought that would happen? And Dybala gets another assist. This Argentina attack, at least in FIFA, should be illegal because look at what Messi's just done there against Lovren. I mean, Lovren is a bit of a meme, but regardless, Messi scores his sixth goal in the World Cup. I think I'm going to be bringing off Leo Messi for the rest of this game because I do not want him getting injured and also Lanzini comes on. I'll also bring on Salvio for Di Maria and let's just play Salvio on the left and we'll also bring on Gonzalo Higuain for Aguero. Just give Messi some rest because the rest of the games are going to be tense. And there you have it guys, full time in our second World Cup group stage game and it ends in a 4-1 result. Messi collects the match ball for this one deservedly so four goals it's just incredible in a world cup game he was just brilliant and of course now six points out of six in the world cup we just need to keep this form going we are absolutely bossing it in this group d i mean six points out of six and a goal difference of eight it's just perfect croatia look like the team that will qualify in second place unless iceland beat them so effectively iceland do have a chance of going through which is interesting but i still think Croatia will get through so that's how things are in our group a final game against Nigeria should pretty much be a formality I'm gonna give a few other youngsters a chance to see if we do have any more options and you know just see how they perform Let's take a look at some of the other groups looks to be France and Denmark will be going through Spain and Portugal have already booked their spot in the next round of the World Cup Russia and Egypt Uruguay out of the World Cup that is very interesting Brazil and Serbia look to be the teams to go through but there's also a chance Costa Rica could go through Germany Sweden again looking favorites Belgium and England have pretty much already qualified But with a group in like with Tunisia and Panama you're expected to qualify um, Colombia Poland Japan all in for a chance to qualify for the World Cup really interesting Let's see what's going around in the World Cup so far Colombia's Rodriguez James Rodriguez out for about five months he definitely will miss the world cup egypt beat it saudi arabia interesting goats scored a hat trick in the world cup that's insane top scorers this world cup messi's up there with six which is great to see we've got cavani smolov goats isco caraba and jesus all with three goals ronaldo has scored a couple as well assist wise Aguero and Zabala with three, Neymar with four, Messi's up there with two as well. So Argentina plays dominating the stat leaderboards. Time for our final World Cup group stage game against Nigeria. Let's get it on the way. Nigeria versus Argentina. There's a lot of hype surrounding Nigeria's green striped kit, which actually looks insane. So we're going to see how that looks in game. But anyways, it's time for this massive final group stage game. Let's take a look at the lineups. There has been a lot of hype surrounding this Nigeria kit and I can tell you this, I'm really fond of it. It's a kit that I might actually buy and yeah, it looks very, very good. But anyways, let's get into the lineups, the thing you guys have been waiting for. So this is now the Nigeria lineup. Let me see if I recognize any of these players well. John Obi Mikel on the bench, Iheanacho and Musa as well. Definitely recognize them. Onazi and NDD, pretty famous players. They're going to be playing CDM. Moses and Iwobi out wide, they're going to cause us problems because of their pace. Igalo as their striker is lethal, so they've got a decent side. Our team have made a lot of changes because we've pretty much secured qualification. Mercado, Fazio, Rojo and Tagliafico in defense. Lo Celso gets a game, I'm eager to see what he can do because he's talented. And also this youngster Meza, 
He looks pretty good in game, so he's got pace and all, so we'll see how he performs. Higuain gets another opportunity, who's already scored two goals this World Cup. Oh, Gonzalo Higuain now. Finds Salvio, gets the shot off, and Salvio gets a goal against Nigeria. Higuain and Salvio there. Higuain and Salvio, they're getting involved for this goal against Nigeria. Higuain, honestly, I'm really impressed with the way he's playing. Let me know in the comment section, considering Higuain's performances in the group stages, does he deserve to start in the round of 16 game? Really impressed with his performances so far, but also Aguero has been world class, so you guys can let me know in the comment section. Here's Messi. The change of pace from Lionel Messi is what destroys defenders on this game. And here goes Messi again. Higuain, back to Lionel Messi. Messi with the fake shot. Messi gets the shots off. Big save from the opposing keeper. Oh no, Iwobi now on the attack. He's got the pace. That's a very good cross. But Tagliafico seems to have picked up a knock. Gets the ball away. Victor Moses puts in a cross. A dangerous cross. And Igalo with a fantastic finish. To be fair, from crosses, Fazio should be dealing with them, man. Disappointing to concede a goal like this, especially just before half time. One all. I am going to be making a change. I'm bringing on Ansaldi for Tagliafico. Hopefully, Tagliafico's injury is nothing to worry about. Otherwise, that could cause a lot of problems for us. I'm bringing off Meza for Lanzini because Meza didn't really impress me. I thought he'd be good, but the fact that he's only 73 rated, I think, cost him. Well, there you have it, guys. That's the World Cup group stages done and dusted. Kind of disappointed that we couldn't win our last game, but Nigeria played well. We didn't really put our best team. And also, Leo Messi didn't really have the best of games. So all that factors combined and, yeah, resulted in Nigeria getting a result here. But we still should be in the top spot. So let's just have a look at the group table. Yes, guys, the group stages have come to an end and Argentina and Croatia have made it through to the next round. We scored 11 goals in the process, which could be a tournament high. We'll find out soon. Denmark and France have managed to go through as well. Spain, Portugal as well. Russia, Egypt. Brazil, Serbia. Germany, Sweden. Belgium, England. Belgium scored 10 goals, so they're pretty close to equaling our record. Colombia, Poland have gone through. So 11 goals from Argentina, which means we've scored the most goals in the group stages so far. And because France finished second in their group, we are going to be facing France in the round of 16. Huh, that is going to be immensely difficult, but let's hope we can get past France. We know they've got a solid squad, but we're up to the challenge. Well, um, we don't really have good news because Tagliafico suffers shoulder injury, which means that he won't be available for the first game. His fitness is too low. That is going to be a problem. Let me know who should we replace him with. Maybe Acuna, maybe Ansaldi and play Mercado as our right back. That's an option. Salvio wins Man of the Match award, which is nice to see. Top scorers in the World Cup so far. Leo Messi with six goals, which is great. Assists, we have Aguero, Neymar with five. Zabala and Messi up there as well, which is nice to see. That is it, guys, for this FIFA 18 Argentina World Cup career mode episode. Tomorrow or day after tomorrow, whenever I upload the next episode, we'll have the round of 16 and the quarterfinals. Hopefully, we'll, of course, get to the quarterfinals because getting past France is not going to be easy. And let's hope we can achieve Messi's dream by getting him the World Cup in this series. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the first episode. Drop a like if you have. Find it likes. Awesome. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys soon for another episode of this series.